Okay guys, back with Off Grid Nation at Off Grid Acres. Now a few weeks back I told you about a video that I saw on Boss of the Swamp's channel where he talked about how he powers his cabin. And I thought it was an interesting video and I also thought that, um, and I did benefit from watching it even though my system's a little different. I thought I'd show you my system more in depth and I hope that you guys can benefit from anything that I'm doing. I'm not saying I'm doing it right, I'm not an electrician and I'm certainly not the code on, on any of this stuff. But what I have done is from scratch with zero know-how, scrape together a solar system that has worked well for me. I'm able to power my cabin and do pretty much everything I want to do with what I have. I do plan on upgrading some of the things that I have, but I want to show you what I got for right now. And I'll talk a little bit about my plans to upgrade. Okay, gang, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you've seen this before. That's my solar panel. That's where it all starts. So I have two 310 watt panels and two 100 watt panels. In the near future, you're gonna see me take out those two 100 watt panels and I'm gonna add them to the other small system that I have up on my porch that powers uh, another side of my cabin. And I'm gonna add a third 310 watt, giving me a total of 930 watts coming in for peak power. I'll show you the inside. All right, guys, a very important piece of this solar system is the charge controller. And I have here the Midnight Classic 150. This thing is the bomb.com. I love it. It's not my first one. It's my third one. I ended up buying cheaper ones that weren't as good. And, of course, they didn't last long. So I ponied up the money, and I bought this sucker. It's overkill for what I'm using it for, but I wanted to buy quality just in case. I don't want to have a failure in a grid-down situation where I can't replace what I have. Right now I'm bringing in 150 watts and I'm in float and the only reason why I'm only bringing in 150 watts in full sun because the batteries are full and it's just using what it needs to top off and burn whatever lights I'm burning right now. So that is connected to the solar panels and then I have wires running down to the battery bank and I'll show you that right now. All right guys, there's my battery box opened up and you'll see why I built a battery box over it because here's the batteries and I really just have kind of a potpourri of batteries in here. I have a marine battery I bought from Walmart in there. I have a couple of lithium ion batteries in there that I got for free that are just awesome batteries. They're probably 400 bucks a piece if I were to buy them. They're small, they're lightweight, they're 55 amp hours a piece I think. And I have a big VMAX battery back there that is awesome, made specifically for solar power. And those are about $260 a piece and I think they're 120 amp hours. So all told I got about 450 amp hours under there and I connected them all with 8 gauge wire. It seems to be doing just fine. I have everything fused under there and I will include links to some of the things that I'm using for the solar in the description below if you're interested in buying them. But that VMAX is awesome. If I had the money I'd go out and I'd buy a bunch more right now and I may end up doing that if and when these batteries start to fail. Okay guys so underneath here I have my Tiger Claw inverter. It's a 1500 watt continuous, I think it's 3000 watt peak, pure sign inverter. My first inverter was one that I bought at Harbor Freight. It was a modified sign and I think it was 2000 um, continuous 3000 watt peak or 3200 watt peak and I was having some issues with my TV, my LED TV. It would make weird noises when it ran and a lot of people suggested that was because it was modified sign. So I got this it was relatively inexpensive as far as pure sign inverters go. Again, link in the description below. I like this so far. It's worked for me. A lot of people said, oh, buy a bigger one, a better one. And very rarely do I need something bigger than this. And if I do, it's because I'm running power tools. And when I do that, I normally run the generator to do that. I don't want to kill my solar system, you know, drawing huge amps and watts. I have a little kilowatt meter there, which is awesome. You can see right now I'm using about 80 watts, and I just keep track of what I'm using, how much each device takes. That gives me a good idea how long my batteries are going to last. And also, I usually, in my journal, I'll keep a note of how much power I use while I'm down here each time I'm down here. Just, just for whatever reason, I want to figure that out and just see how much I'm using on average. So right now, since I've been here, I've used 0 0.06 kilowatts. Not much. And everything that I'm running in here is pretty low power consumption with the exception of my 5000 BTU air conditioning unit which I took out of the window because I won't be using that anymore this year seeing that winter is on its way we're in fall um, and my refrigerator which uses about 150 watts over there everything else is LED powered or uh, 
CFL lighting and it uses very little. I think my TV uses 35 watts, give or take. Of course, the fans take more than that. And I do run them in the summertime, but again, this time of year, I won't be using those. So that's the overview of the solar system in a nutshell. It's worked great for me. If I had an unlimited budget, would I do anything differently? Sure, I'd buy more batteries, I'd buy more panels, I'd buy more, you name it. The charge controller is top notch. I'd buy a better inverter. But in all reality, this is great for what I'm using it for. I haven't had any real issues with the setup that I have right now. And the only changes I'm going to make is I'm adding a couple of breakers. And I'll show you that in a future video. Uh, just for added protection and safety. And it's going to allow me to isolate what I'm, what I'm doing. It's going to allow me to isolate if I want to turn off the power coming in from the panels to the battery. So if I have to work on anything, repair anything, or just maintain anything, do any maintenance, it's going to allow me to isolate where the power is going. So it's really a safety issue. What I did do down here was I bought two aught wire, connected it from the battery bank, and it's just a 12 volt battery bank, and my panels are 24 volt. Um, but my charge controller allows me to bring in 24 volts, which is why I was able to use 8 gauge wire. Allows me to bring in 24 volts, and then I can use 12 volt power for my Tiger Claw. And again, it works just fine. One of the problems that I was having is when I was running my air conditioner, which drew somewhere between 550 and 750 watts, along with some of the other things that I had down here, it cooked my wire. And so I bought the thicker, heavier 2-watt wire, and it's been working great. No issues there. Okay, so that was a basic overview of my solar system, which is pretty simple. I'll show you in a diagram how I wired up the cabin and give you a better idea of what I did. It was super simple. Um, if I had to do it over again, the only thing I might do is add a couple of extra outlets in a couple of key places. Because I wired all this up before I put in the rest of the stuff in this cabin, I wasn't exactly sure where things were going to go, and I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. But as you get into a project like this, you go, oh, it would have been convenient to have an outlet right here. It would have been nice if a switch was over here or another light was over here. Well, I could go back, pull off the paneling, and add all that stuff. But I'm not going to do it, guys. Um, I'm going to live with what I have and make do. And in places where I need extra lights or extra outlets, I'll run an extension cord and live with it. So thanks for coming along. Check out the diagram here in a second. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Help us grow the nation. We'll see you on the next video. Okay, guys. So as promised, here's my very crude drawing of my solar system and my wiring in the house. As you can see over here, i got the solar panels. And I got them running down in a wire and conduit underneath the ground and down, down the pole. I'll try to point it out. Underneath the ground and conduit comes up into the charge controller and then back down into the battery box. And then from the battery box to the inverter. Okay, it's pretty simple. So that's how the power comes in and charges the battery bank through the inverter, all using 8 gauge wire. And then I use the 2 aught wire from the battery bank, 12 volt wired, to the 12 volt inverter. And I'll flip the next page here and kind of show you the wiring schematic on the inside. Again, sorry for my kindergarten art class here. I'm just, I'm really bad at that. Okay, so now here's to give you an idea of what it looks like um, when you're kind of looking, I guess, down from the top. So the way that I have this wired is again, I got my inverter over here in my battery box. What I did was I have the Romex wire I think it's 12-2, that's what I'm using, 12-2 wire, and I have a plug that I plug into my inverter, and it goes into the wall to an outlet, out of the outlet, through the wall, up to a switch. Now that switch controls an outdoor light and the indoor fan and light, so it's a double switch. It goes uh, also... I forget how exactly I did that, but I went to an outdoor outlet. I think I went to the outdoor outlet first and from there up to the switch. And then I continued on the other side of the outlet and went to another indoor outlet. So I have one plug, basically one circuit that runs the whole front side of the cabin. Okay. And I have a second plug comes out, goes into the wall and goes to the back. And I just have two outlets in the back. Now from there, I plugged one of those 12 outlet kind of bars. I got it from Harbor Freight along the back, so I have plenty of places to plug into along the back, as well as in the front, I have a 12 outlet bar right there as well. And so I have the second circuit just running through and powering two outlets in the back. Now over here, you have the sink. I told you I have a little second um, 12 volt 
system, solar system. It, right now it just has the one 100 watt panel connected to one battery under the sink. You should have saw that earlier in the video. And it runs a 12 volt water pump for the sink. And I also have coming out of the inverter, I just put extension cords and I got the, uh, I got the clip light, the LED clip light above the sink and then another LED clip light above the stove the two burner propane stove. So that's it in a nutshell. It was real simple. I don't have any breaker boxes. Uh, I could have put that in. Some people do that. I think it looks better. You know, it looks more professional. It was more money. I didn't think that I needed it. And this solar system kind of evolved as time went on. But the wiring happened when the wiring happened. Again, if I had to do it over again, I'd probably wire up a box here, an electrical outlet box here, maybe one here, over here, over here. Uh, I would have put one in the bath or in the uh, composting toilet with a switch for a light. Instead, what I did was from this outlet, I plugged in an extension cord, went into the wall, up. So you can't see it from outside when you're looking, but it goes into the bottom of the wall, it goes up into the wall, and then I have an extension cord coming out and just one of those clamp lights plugged into the bathroom and I can turn it on and off that way. Not super pro, but it's functional, it works, it was easy, it was cheap, and it was less wiring. And I'm not an electrician. So that's an overview of my solar system. I hope it helps anyone else that's thinking about doing it. Again, I'm not telling you that I know what I'm talking about or I know what I'm doing. I'm just showing you what I did and the fact that it worked. And I also gave you some idea as to what I might have changed if I had to do it all over again. Don't forget, guys, like, share, subscribe. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.